Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Somic. In this vi video, we will be discussing how to set up MSMQ and configure it with Power Center. For this, we will have these four basic steps. First, we will enable MSMQ in Windows Server. Then, we will create the source and target queues. Next, we will be providing the necessary information. The fourth step will be to configuring it with Power Center so that we can read and write data. To enable MSMQ, please go to Program Files, Control Panel Program Files, turn Windows Features on. In the Features, you can see Add Features. Make sure you tick these following options. Once you tick, you can next and install the MSMQ in this server. Once MSM queue is enabled, we need to create the queues. To create the queues, please go to Computer Manage. Here you can see the messaging queue. We will be creating the queues in private queues. To create a queue, press New Private Queue. Give a name. Just make it transactional. OK. Now once the, uh, the queues are created, please make sure you give all the necessary permissions. This way. Apply. OK. Now in this case, we will be using this as the source queue. Test underscore source 1 as the source queue. Test underscore target 1 as the target queue. Now we can see there is no messages in the queue. One more thing. To properly manipulate the data in the queue, we'll be using a third-party software. It is known as Queue Explorer. So this is the um, interface of that uh, software. So using that uh, interface, we can easily manipulate the queues. We can delete post the data and delete the queue. Okay. So now we can see there is no messages in the source queue. To read messages from the source queue to the target queue we first need to make sure there are messages in the source queue so for that we will be reading from a flat file and drop the messages into, into the queue so this is a simple mapping we are reading from a store source file and we will write to the target MSM queue Now before we run the session, we need to create connections. For that, go to connection queue. Select new MSM queue. Give some name. And this queue name should be the exactly the same name which we have given during creating the queue in the server. The machine name is name of the server. So in this case, we'll be creating two queues. One is the source queue for the uh, source and the target queue for the target. You can see the details here. Also, when you create the queue, please make sure you, you keep it the type as private, the transactional model as yes. Now, once everything has been configured, give the connection here. Now we can run the session. You can see 5000 messages have been read from the source file and dropped into the target queue. If we check this queue, the test underscore source one, we can see there are 5000 messages. Now the next step will be to read from this queue and drop the messages into the target queue. For that we will be using another mapping. In this mapping we are reading from a source queue and we will be dropping the messages into a target queue. Same in the connections. 
we have provided both the source and target connections now we will run the session can see here 5000 messages has been read and write it in the target queue in the target queue there are 5000 messages and the in the source queue there is no messages left now in the session properties we can make this setting if we uncheck this setting it will make sure that once the messages are read from the source queue it is not deleted so in this case since it was ticked so as soon as the messages were read from the queue those were deleted so again this all depends upon the business requirement with this we have come to an end of this video you can follow this below KBs where we have written some of the features of MSMQ and its operation with power center we would love to hear from you you can mail us at support videos at the .com. you can also follow us at twitter.com slash infasupport thank you